hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be sharing with you some apps that would help you integrate into the netherlands as a new expert Now, a lot of people move to a new country and they have to figure out how things work. Not just that, they also have to figure out the easiest way to get things done. When I moved to the Netherlands a year ago, I was a bit lost in trying to figure out a lot of things. And some of these apps that I will be sharing with you have helped me to get integrated into the environment that I live in currently and they basically help me do a lot of things that I do from day to day. Now, if you're currently looking to move or you already live here, I'm pretty sure some of the apps that I will share probably already use them. Some of them you might be the first time you're hearing about them. So let's get into the main video. In order to make this easy, I categorize the different apps that I'll be sharing into five groups. The first group, is language and integration now some of these apps i use to use every single day and that's because i am still learning the language dutch and i find that it's very important to especially if you move to a country that doesn't speak your language to have some you know apps that would help you or in learning the language or just you know translating things and for me, I use a couple of apps. The first one is Duolingo. I really like Duolingo because it's, it has a lot of different languages, of course, that you could learn. It also gamifies the um, process of learning the language and that's something that I really like. So you have streaks and if you keep up with your streaks, you kind of get more, you get motivated to keep learning the language kind of. And for me, I did this before moving to the Netherlands. So I started learning Dutch just so I am familiar with some words. And another one that I also use to learn Dutch is called Ling. And Ling is another app that you can use to learn different languages. And for me, something that I really like about the app is that they have this conversational thing going on where you can follow a conversation about a specific thing. It could be about two friends planning a party or about you going to a supermarket and it, it makes it more um, interesting I would say because then these are things that I would kind of have a conversation about on a normal day so it helps that the app is trying to teach you how to have conversations about your everyday activities in a way. So Ling is another app that I've used to learn Dutch and the master of all is for me google translate now google translate is of course the translation app for from google and i use this a lot actually i use it when i'm going out i use it for reading stuff so if i have a document that is written in dutch i use it to translate it now a lot of people tell me not to do that because it doesn't really help with learning the language it helps to read it first and just try to pick out the words you can I'm doing that now, but initially I would just put my, so Google Translate has this feature where you can use your camera to um, translate any text. So you just need to open the app, then point your camera at the text and then you automatically translate it to the desired language you want. In my case, that is English language. So I use Google Translate a lot and I find that this is an app that you have to have. You have to have it in your phone, right? Because every single thing you need or you need to get translated you can do with this app so google translate is another one that i am constantly using every day the next category is transportation this is also essential app you should have on your phone if you're looking to navigate the netherlands in the netherlands there are different ways to transport yourself from one location to another they have Uber, of course, they have trams, they have trains, buses, even ferries, depending on your location. So in order for you to be able to move around easily, you need some apps to help you. I currently use these apps. The first one is Google Maps. Now, Google Maps is 
or has always been helpful for me because I use it every single time now how i use google maps is if i'm trying to locate if i'm trying to go somewhere i use the schedule on google maps to find the transportation or the best routes to take now if i'm going to probably amsterdam and i want to go or i want to figure out what's the fastest way to go should i take a train should i take a bus or should i ride my bike right i always use google google maps to check this and the good thing about this is it gives you a lot of option options to pick from and also tells you how long it's going to tell, take for you to get to your location so based on the options you can then pick the best one for you another app that you can use side by side with this is called 9292 this is another transportation app that a lot of people use here in the Netherlands and pretty much does the same thing so if you're trying to figure out the best route to take you can also put in your destination um, you use your current location and then you put in your destination and then it gives you some options for the routes or the best routes to take I find that this is another helpful app you want you can use if you are not using Google, um, Google map you can use this as well now the last one I have here is the NS app. Now the NS is the um, company in the Netherlands that is in control of um, transportation, right? From trams to train to the buses. So if you're looking to take a, a train, say from Den Haag to Amsterdam, you can also use this app to one book your ticket, or you can if you already have a um, uh, OV chip card, that's the card you use for transportation here. You can just check the NS app to get exactly the route to take and how much it's going to cost for the route or the tram or the train that you're you're taking. Now, if you've lived if you've lived here in the Netherlands, you know that the weather is something a lot of people don't like. Specifically, people actually hate the weather here because it's very unpredictable and what has really helped me is this app called Boeing Radar app and this tells me the current weather status. If I'm going out, I always check it. Alexa, what's the weather like today? In Well Jelligan, it's 12 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast calls for more of the same with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Enjoy the sunshine gift. Today is amazing because at least today we have a good weather but some days are terrible there are days when it's sunny like alexa just told me it's sunny and then i step out 30 minutes later it's raining so in order for me to at least try to keep up with dutch weather which i don't think you can always be sure of i use this app called boeing radar and it tells you the forecasts it tells you the weather forecast for the next 14 days which is something that i like so for example we are getting into um, the winter in a couple of months and you want to know if you know it's going to be snowing or what's going to be happening how cold is it going to get in the next few days and this is an app that I'm always using to check that so if you want to get information about weather forecast I would definitely recommend that you use this app next category that I want to talk about is food and being a foodie like I love food I have taking my precious time to look for some applications that would help me find the best food here in the Netherlands, right? And the one that I've been using a lot actually is called Taos Bezog. Now, I don't know if I pronounced that name correctly, but that's how I pronounce it. I usually pronounce it um, Taos, Taos Bezog, Bezog, but now somebody corrected me and they said it's Taos, Taos, Taos Brizogd, Taos Brizogd, right? And it's an app where you can order food from different restaurants. Some days I'm like, mm, can I make dinner? No, I'm not sure. So let's just order. So for me, I use this app a lot when I feel like, okay, I'm not feeling like I'm not in the mood to cook. So I just order other food from one of the restaurants that I find on this app and what I really like about it is it finds so it's based off your location your current location so if you put in your current location it looks for the restaurants that are around you 
the fastest one it also has different kinds of food there is thai which is actually currently my best food there is mexican you can get burgers you can get pizza and so on and so forth so i really like using this app now this other one i have tried and it's actually a very good initiative it's called too good to go so this app is actually very very brilliant and the idea is that a lot of supermarkets have um, um, food that might go to waste right so instead of wasting it or instead of throwing them away um, they actually put it for lower the lowest price possible on this app and that's that's the name too good to go so the, the, it's, it's not like they're giving you sports meals the meals are not bad but they are almost they are, if they keep it it's going to get bad and then they have to throw it away so instead of throwing it away so to curb waste in sort of make the environment better kind of um vibe the app allows you to look for the closest grocery shops or restaurants around you that are looking to give out um, some of their um, food or some of the things that they sell at a very discounted price so I remember doing this with one um, supermarket and it was actually a good deal because I paid two euros. I paid two euros and I got a bag of different things but unfortunately you don't get to pick, I mean for the one that I did, you don't get to pick what's given to you, they just hand you something which could be nice but from my experience it wasn't that great because everything that was given to me I don't eat them, I don't eat cheese. Um, I was given this juice that was almost bad so I didn't have it. And then there are some extra things that I got that I actually use like veggies and so on. But I could say half of the things that I got from the package, I didn't use it. But I mean, it's worth the price because it was just two euros. So I spent two euros getting all those things. So if this is something you are interested in, you should definitely check the app Too Good To Go. I think I'm going to use it but this time for a shop that sells um, pastries, right? Because... They make pastries right at the beginning of the day and they don't want to resell it the next day so they have to give it out of, of um, discount prices on this app so you should definitely check it out too the next category on my list is finance if you really are looking for a best way to handle your money in this country i have some app recommendations for you the first one that i used or when i moved here is called bonk so bonk is uh is a bank but an online bank that an online banking system that you can use i really like this app but i've been thinking lately do i really need it do i really need it okay this is the situation that i was in at the time so i moved here but i had not gotten my um, credentials bsn number and so on so i couldn't open an actual bank so the easiest thing to do was to open a bank account and for a bank account you just need to have at least your um, id you just have to have your id and then they give you they give you at least 30 days to put in your bsn number which is great but other banks requires that you put in your bsn number and if you've not had that if you don't have that yet you can open up a bank account and for me i needed to get a bank account immediately so i used bonk now bonk charges you minimum of eight euros every month for you to use this um, app which I think is a lot of money now that I'm thinking about it, but at the time it was very useful for me. And the great thing with Bonk is you can have multiple um, accounts. So you have, you have currently I have five different accounts in my Bonk, and these are basically used for different things. So I have an account for groceries, I have an account for um, utilities and house rent, I have a savings account and a lot of things. I think it's very flexible and I really like it. And it also helps you um, save. So you can set up a saving um, option in the setting that would save a part of every money you spend. So if I spend three euros, it saves 0.03. If I spend five euros, it saves 0.05 or something. That's how it works. So, right, it's a very nice initiative and I like it. So, Bonk is one bank that you can use. Um, another one I like to recommend is Revolut. I also have a Revolut account and it kind of works in a similar way, but Revolut doesn't charge you anything. So, you can open it for free. 
and Revolut also have, or if, of course, it's an online bank. You get a physical card. You can also get a digital card if you want. And it have the added advantage of helping you buy cryptocurrencies or um, buying stocks. So I also tried that and it's actually nice. But one thing that I don't like is that your, your, your fees for taking out your money is actually a lot compared to other um, crypto apps that I've used. So Revolut is another banking app that you can try out if you're in the Netherlands. The next one is of course the most, the most useful app that I've gotten since I moved here. It's called Grip. Now Grip is a budgeting app. And I know a lot of people might be thinking, well, I don't need a budgeting app because I don't need to budget because I have a lot of money to spend. Well, well, well. <laughs> no you don't you don't have to feel that way or you don't have to think about it you don't have to do anything really just download this app it's called grip it helps you budget everything so you set a budget for yourself so every month you want to spend 2000 euros and it tracks all your spending in all of your accounts so you have to connect all the accounts that you have so right now i have bonk i have revolut and i have abn amro and i connected everything to this grip app and grip does what collates all the expenses that i've made calculates it based off the budget that i set for the month tells you if you're overspending tells you if you're underspending tells you literally everything like you get notifications for when you're overspending that is a good good feature and i like it so I like this app called grip and i use it to track a lot of my spendings i use it to track my income as well so it's something you should definitely check out if you're here in the netherlands and the last one i would like to share is sticky and if you've heard this word before then you've probably been integrated properly into the netherlands culture so here in the netherlands a lot of people like to go dutch um, or people just like to split their bills. I don't know. It's a very common thing. So this app Tiki is an app that allows you split bills and request for money from different people. So for example, if you go for drinks with your friends and you end up paying the entire bill, what you could do is send everybody a Tiki and requesting them to pay a certain amount back to you. And a lot of people use Tiki. I use it a lot actually as well. So if you're looking for an for an easy way to get back payments or send payments to somebody, this is an app you can also download. And finally, the last category that I have here is shopping. And in shopping, I was able to just pick out some specific or generic um, apps that you might be interested in using. The first one I have here is Marak Platz. Marak Platz is a open market for anybody willing to purchase any items so if you're trying to sell for example i want to sell this camera that i'm using and i don't have to look for somebody that wants to buy it i can post pictures of the camera and the price that i want to sell it for on the app and get recommendations for people that are interested in buying it same thing if you're looking to buy something second hand mostly most things you see on the app is second hand so if you're looking to buy a couch you just moved into an apartment and you're looking to buy a couch a tv you know or furniture for your house you can also check this app and you get a lot actually a lot i think i bought my playstation on the app i have a ps4 and i bought it off uh, mark platz and it was actually legit so but you have to be careful actually you have to be careful because i've gotten a lot couple of messages from people that i've sent um a lot that they're scammers so please do your due diligence before buying anything off the platform but yeah it's very helpful if you're looking to buy secondhand items another app that i use a lot for shopping is called gorillas and i recently just learned about this one so some some days you might feel ah, i don't i don't want to go out it's raining i need to get groceries but i don't want to go out and i have the perfect app for you and the app is called gorillas on this app you can order groceries from them and they deliver guess what in five minutes like the last time that I ordered, it was delivered in three minutes. Or oh, the first time that I ordered, it was delivered in three minutes. And I was very shocked, actually, that they were that efficient in delivering. 
and usually it takes me about 20 minutes to go and come back from the grocery shop so i have been using this app it's called gorillas and it's very helpful for buying groceries i have also tried an alternative one it's called flink flink is another app you can use for ordering groceries just um download the app um you get by the way if you use my code for any of this app I, you get 10 euros um for your first shopping so check the description if you want to get my um discount code and i've used these two apps and it helps you get groceries to your door like in less than 10 minutes so if that's something you're interested in definitely try using them or you can as well just go to the grocery shop if it's not very far from you that's also fine so those are the apps that i've been using and the apps that have helped me integrate into living in the netherlands if you're new here or if you've been living here for some time and you don't know some of these apps definitely check them out download them and start using them to make your life easier don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye